Hello. Now, we're going to look at quadratic patterns today. Now, we already know about quadratics. They're things that have a squared, uh, a power of two or a square on a variable. Usually, we would have dealt with x squared. Here, we're dealing with n squared. But the highest power on our variables, the things that change, is a power of two. So we call it a quadratic. Now, Everything you already know about quadratic uh, functions still works with quadratic patterns. So we are going to have a look at these now. Uh, quadratic uh, patterns have a constant second difference. That is to say, the difference of the difference between each term is the same. Now that may not be totally clear at the moment, but it will be once we get through part three. So let's go through this example here to run through what we know about quadratic patterns. So this is a quadratic. And again, I know it's a quadratic because I can see the highest power on one of my variables is two. So it, the highest power is squared. So that means that I have a quadratic. And that is effectively part one. Is this a quadratic pattern? Yes, because I have n squared as the highest power. So that's fairly straightforward for our part one, and we already know that from our work with quadratic functions. Now, part two, list term zero to term four. So term zero would be T zero uh, uh, up to T four. So let's go through our, so our zero to four there would be our values for N. So let's do a little table here to keep track of uh, what we want, just like if we were going to draw a graph, because that's actually what we're going to do a little bit later on. So if I want to write out my different terms, I want to go from 0 to 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, and the pattern I'm working with is tn is equal to n squared minus 3n plus 2. We can see that the work we already know about functions helps us here to keep track of what we're doing. Uh, and then we are going to have over on the side, uh, we're going to, in this case, we're asked for or the first four terms. So we're going to uh, write down our tns here. So, what's our value from our equation when n is 0? Well, let's put in t0 is 0 squared minus 3 on 0 plus 2. When we do that, that's uh, 2. We put that in our calculators, that's just 2. So, t1 or sorry, t0 is just 2. t1. We put in one and you can see every time I'm subbing in, it goes in brackets. This is very much a recap of the work that we did uh, with uh, functions. And I'm going to complete this table now. So these are our first four terms. Sorry, not first four terms, the a zeroth to the e fourth term. So. This is T0, T1, T2, T3, T4. Uh, so those are my terms from 0 to term 4. Now, this is a really important thing because it comes down to the fundamental definition of a quadratic pattern, which is uh, how do I check that a pattern is quadratic? So let's write down our terms here. We have 2 and then 0 and then 0 and then 2 and then 6. And this is term one, sorry, term zero, I should say, term one, term two, term three, term four. Those are my terms. Now, let's go back to our definition of a quadratic pattern. The difference of the difference between each term is the same. So let's try and get the difference of the differences between our terms here. So what's the difference between each of our terms? If this was a linear pattern, the difference between each one of these numbers would be the same, but it isn't. Going from two to zero 
is minus two. Going from zero to zero, well, we don't do anything, so it's just zero. Going from zero to two is plus two. And going from two to six, we're adding four. Now, in a linear pattern, like we're familiar with, those numbers would have all been the same, but they weren't. So now let's check if we have a quadratic pattern. So the difference of the differences, so this is the difference that we call D1 or the first difference, and the second difference, let's see if it's the same. Going from minus two to zero, we would add two. From zero to two, we would add two. And from zero to four, we would add two. So we can see that the second difference, which I've called D2 here, is constant. It's the same all of the time. So this tells us that we have a quadratic pattern. So as D2 is constant, is the same all the time, therefore we have a quadratic pattern. And that's an important test, quadratic pattern. It's a very common exam type question. You're given a list of numbers. Is it a linear pattern or is it a quadratic pattern? And how can we check? Well, a linear pattern will have the difference between all of the numbers will be the same. And a quadratic pattern will have the difference of the differences being the same or being constant. Constant means they don't change. Now, finally, we are going to graph our pattern. And we know what a quadratic pattern is going to look like. It's going to look like a smiley face or a frowny face. Now, this is this is my original uh, pattern function, my original TN, general term or nth term. Uh, and I can see it's a positive quadratic. So I'm expecting I'm going to get a smiley face. But I don't know that yet. I need to do my graphing to be sure. So I'm going to take what I did here and I'm going to get my point. So when n was 0, tn was 2. So I'm going to get n and tn, n and tn. I've already done this out to save you uh, having to watch me if, uh, do it. But when n is 0, tn is 2. When n is 1, tn is 0. When n is 2, tn is 0. When n is 3, uh, tn is 2. When n is 4, tn is 6. So I have all of my points now. And if you were doing this out in your own question, and you could write that uh, in here on your table, I've just uh, left it so that the questions are clearer to read uh, as notes. Now, let's get our different points in. So we always start at the origin. And we go 0, 2. So we don't go side to side. We don't go in the door or anything. And we go up 2. In the door 1, up the stairs 0. In the door 1, up the stairs 0. In the door 2, up the stairs 0. In the door 3, up the stairs 2. In the door 4, up the stairs 6. So when I do that, I can see my smiley face type function. And I know that I don't use a, uh, a ruler uh, to draw this in because it's a curve. It's a smiley face type thing and rulers aren't very good at curves. So I'm going to draw this in and I know that if my line goes down underneath my two points and I make that nice and curved at the bottom for a quadratic. I draw that up as neatly as I'm able. And that is my smiley face curve because I had a positive quadratic. So if we're positive, we have a smile. So that is my graph of my quadratic pattern. Now, in general, working toward leaving cert, technically our points are this point and then this point and then this point and then this point and then this point without anything in between. But I'm drawing in my line to remind you of the uh, quadratic functions that we also work with. Uh, and that is what we have for our quadratic patterns. The key thing to take away from this is our test. How do I check that something is a quadratic pattern? The difference of the differences is the same, it's constant. 
and that tells me I have a quadratic pattern. And the rest of it we're fairly familiar with already from drawing our graphs and working with functions and algebra before this. And that's what we need for now.